Good day, friends. It is me, H.O. Mod Tech, and I've got a project that's going to bring a bunch of our skills together to make something awesome. So let's get cracking. Friends, the first thing is to get into Tinkercad and take your jet with the awesome wings and duplicate it. I already have here, and I'm going to tinker it. When you tinker this, we're going to actually get rid of a few parts that are too complex for the project that I like to do. So the bubble and the flames don't work. So make sure you delete all those so that your project is a little less complex. When you're done with that, select the entire shape, move down to the shapes collection, and friends, we're gonna hit create shape. It will take your awesome little jet and it'll save it so you can use it in any project. I'm going to put airplane just so I can remember if I'm looking for a different name. I'm going to see if I can see it on the screen. Notice I had to wait a second for it to show up. And now I'm going to hit save shape so that it's permanently saved to my shapes collection. Do make sure you're patient as it's published. And then finally, you'll see it show up over here on the right. And there mine is after a few seconds. Now if you want custom colors, like I'm gonna change this so that it looks just a little more snazzy, match those colors up. I'm gonna change this as well. I'm gonna give it a bright yellow. If you want something custom, make sure you make these modifications as well because you cannot modify them once you're in the system. I'm gonna take the little engine and I'm gonna make it the red. So now that I've got my shape changed, I'm gonna grab it all again, and I'm gonna create a second awesome jet. So I'm gonna call this one Jet Red. And then I'm gonna also put airplane here. And notice I am not locking the part size or changing the colors. When I hit save, give it a little bit of time, and boom, it'll be added as a fun shape that you can use in your projects. Just like that, you can see it was published and the screen is getting cleared for it to arrive and there we have it all right friends so this is where it gets cool i want you to go back to tinkercad i want you to choose create a brand new design and we're going to name this one airport with our initials i've already done it once so i'll put a two after mine and then we're going to make this super huge which is cool if you hit edit, simply backspace, that's the only way I can figure out to get rid of those, and make both sides 500 by 500. So we have more room to play. Now, from our earlier lessons, I want you to go to your shapes collection, and I need you to bring out your airplane. Remember, when you bring these out, they do take a second to actually come into the project, so be patient. You've also got a runway, and then today I'm giving you a new lesson called Towers that lets you add all the towers for your runway. So now you've got airplanes for your runway. And then I want you to do a search for what a control tower looks like. So you're gonna learn one tower by me and then the rest of this project is just you creating your own awesome airport. Friends, if you're looking for that tower video, there will be a link up above so you can get there in a hurry. Of course, when you're done, don't forget you got to get some cool angles and turn in a sweet screenshot. Lastly, friends, if you had fun with the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.